Hello, peace. Yeah. No, I just came for breakfast with Uju. No, nothing fattening, no. I have to stay slim now. No man wants a woman with dumbbells hanging all over her body. <laughs> Peace, you safe, you too do. All right, bye bye. Um, hi. Do you mind? Yes, I do. I'm with a friend. No, no harm meant. I just wanted some company. Sit. Thank you. My name is Sly, show for Sylvester, and I live and work here in the Lekki Axis. Mm. Are you married? <laughs> no. See? No rings. I see if that counts for anything. <laughs> so what do you do? Um, I work in the bank. Now, that was Lovett's cue to get up and run, as in take off. But no, my dear darling sister and friend Lovett balanced there, listening to his baritone voice, sat down, gloating over his contoured body and watching his soft lips move over the rhythm of his words. The man says he works in a bank. Is that not enough for you to pack your load and take off? So what if my ex-husband worked in a bank? Should I run away from every banker that comes my way? I beg, I have my own money now. What I need is love. And what Sly presents me with is love. What's up, ladies? Hey, Junior. How are you? I'm fine. I'm cool. Uh, do you know where your mom is? I don't know. She should be somewhere. Somewhere? Uh -huh. Oh, looking good, ladies. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Looking good. See you later. Uh -huh. What? Did you Maybe. just say that? He's like 12 years old. <laughs> I was beginning to wonder what happened to you. You knew it was your turn to host us, didn't you? Of course she did. I did call her this morning to remind us that there is absolutely no excuse for coming late. Okay, I'm here now, ain't I? <laughs> so ladies, I hope you guys have been well taken care of. Mm, yeah, you have a wonderful team of staff, I must say, Miranda. I sure do. Did Lovett's court say she wasn't coming? I just pinged her now and said she wasn't sure whose house we're having the meeting today. Mm -hmm. Good for her. She is certainly not missed. Uh, are you two still at loggerheads? Mm. The last meeting ended rather badly. And none of you is yet to talk about the cause of the rift. Um, I don't think we need to concern ourselves with the details. Okay, they're both big enough to handle their differences and I trust that they will do so soon. Right, Miranda? Sure, we will. <laughs> so, you guys, this. can you let me take off my shoe? <sighs> Hey, dear. So how come you work on Sunday? I'm busy as hell, lady, and I'm loving every bit of it. Okay, enough of me, guys. What has been happening to you ladies this week? Well, I'm still growing in the Lord and wishing that you all will come to experience my happiness. By the way, none of you responded to my invite to come and worship in church with me today. Why? Peace. Stop. Don't be a killjoy, please. See, I want Jesus to just not spoil us. Oh, Miranda, Jesus is not a spoiler. He saves. Peace, stop now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. So, Cleo, what is happening? Well, I'm living my life like it's golden. Yeah. Yeah. I'm planning to travel abroad to have the baby. 
Oh my god, how nice. <laughs> What's nice about going abroad to have a baby? Like, seriously, you need me to actually spell that out for you? As if you don't know, Miranda. Yes. I did it for both kids, so what's the big deal? You, you did it regardless. Me too, I'll do it. My kids must be American or British sisters. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> Whatever rocks your boat. Um, okay, Cleo, you're barely 13 weeks pregnant. How come you're talking about traveling abroad? <laughs> it's Otumbao. He says I'm not resting as much as I should and I'd like to send me away as soon as possible. Mm-hmm. And are you sure he's not sending you away for some other reasons? Reasons like? You know men, liars, deceitful born. I mean... Miranda, stop that. Okay, that's not nice, that's not true. Stop talking like that. <laughs> Peace. What have I said here that is not true? <laughs> you, stay there and be deceiving yourself. Miranda, you honestly need to learn how to trust men. Okay, learn to trust your husband. If that's too difficult, then trust God. So how is trusting God stopping your husband from messing around? God works in mysterious ways, Miranda. He can turn a man from his evil ways, if any. But I don't even allow myself to think that Victor is cheating. In fact, I don't believe he can. <laughs> Not today. Miranda. <laughs> you see, I trust no one, and I suggest you all do the same. You know what? I think I'm going to insist on staying back until I'm about eight months or so. Mm-hmm. That's good for you. But one advice again. Learn to pleasure yourself while he's pregnant because your husband won't be doing much, especially if he has secret agendas or hidden vows. You know? I'm talking from experience, so, so don't let it get to you. I mean, take whatever he has to offer and let your fingers do the rest. Uh, okay, ladies, please. Do not listen to a word she just said. Okay, please. Obviously, she doesn't know any better, so forgive her for urging you to do the same. Ew, Miranda. I feel totally in that department. I prefer my men to do all the talking. Mm. You wait until you're pregnant, and your husband will look for a fresh, flat-bellied girl. He will not even look at you, except his hormones are running wild, or you're his last option. Or better still, like I said, if he has healing agendas, he will not touch you with a long pole, lest you bring him bad luck. Serious? Okay, Miranda, you seriously need to stop spreading negativity to your friends. Obviously, your marriage is having problems, so you need to find a way to deal with it, okay? Find a way to make things work, but please stop spreading negativity. Hey, 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 please. Your husband is cheating. So do yourself a favor and check him out, and after you have done that, you can come back and talk to me. Story, 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 story. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. Oops, sorry. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. <laughs> I just hate it when women cover up their debts all in the name of I don't want to be negative. If I could, I would have told her the details, but I chose not to. Why? Love it has me trapped in and I am forced not to tell. That's it. But I just have to figure out a way. <laughs> Mrs. Etim, are you alright? I'm fine, Mrs. Mosu. No, you're not fine. What is the matter? <laughs> my sister, I've never felt this way in my marriage for a long time until now. I just want to speak to Mama and see what she has to say. Uh, do you mind sharing? I could offer some help if I'm led. My sister, there's no shame in sharing. After all, it's not my sin. It's my husband's. Is he cheating? Oh, yes. With both my maids. 
and now he's blaming me for it. Huh? Are you serious? Why are men like this? I only found out last night that one of them is pregnant for him. No. And he didn't as much as apologize or feel some sort of remorse. Instead, he tongue lashed me and said I caused it. I'm having issues too with my husband in this same matter. In fact, a friend of mine told me that he's definitely cheating on Mimi and I confirmed it to be true. Eh? Yes. I, don't... I confronted him about it, but you know, man, he denied it. Can you imagine? I don't know why serving God has become so hard a pill to swallow by some men. I would have thought husbands would appreciate wives who are God-fearing and truly serve the Lord. You know, as Mama always says, that the operative word there is truly. Now, so many women use the guise of church going to commit atrocities and now men don't welcome a church going woman. <sighs> eh? May God help us. Oh. Amen. Oh. And guess what, peace? It was my best friend that advised him to help himself with the means. Eh? When he went about complaining, oh, how I have new ways and how I abandoned him. My God, are you see? You're not joking. I won't be shocked if she herself has been with him. Jesus. Ah, oh, my angel. I miss you so much. How are you? Fine, fine. And how's my baby doing? Baby is fine, Otsumba. Thank God. Are you? I'm fine, Otsumba. Thank you. Should yeah. I get the chef to get you something? I'm in a hurry. Are you going somewhere? Yes, I have a doctor's appointment. Eh? What happened? <laughs> Otsumba, everything is fine. It's just routine check. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, that means I'll see you there, Ali. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Otsumba. Yeah, okay. Please, hey, who is this uh, boy cousin of yours that has been frequenting this place? <sighs> Finally. I saw this one coming anyway. And I'm more than prepared. Okay, here we go. Uh, yes, Otsuma. I mean the boy that has been coming here on a daily basis. Who is he? Oh, he's Jude. My cousin. You know, since I got pregnant, I've been having funny symptoms and missing my family. I wanted a family member nearby in case I had an emergency at night or something. I was even going to suggest to you that he moves in here with us because he will be of great help to me, especially at this time. Oh, the voucher. Oh. Uh, but what does he do, gang, gang, gang? Don't you think your own arrangement to my his own uh, personal arrangements? <laughs> that one. It does nothing tangible. But he's very hardworking, though. Anyway, but then all the same, you should have told me this. You did not tell me why, Cleopatra, why? Well, I didn't think it was important. Uh, not until I was very ill and I asked my folks to send for him. His sister had to go home back to their sick mom. I would have preferred her. Because uh -huh. she's even more hardworking than uh -huh. she. But I guess he'll just have to manage. After all, the small money he'll be getting here cannot compare to whatever he gets doing whatever it is he does. I see. Anyway, uh, anyway, uh, uh, if that is what you want, uh, tell him to move in. But first, tell him to see me. Yeah, tell him to see me. Okay. Uh, and uh, do that one today. Okay, I'll come back. Uh -huh. Now, this is even better than I hoped. Ah, I thought it would be a struggle getting Otumba to allow Jude to move in here. But I guess even the universe is working on our behalf. And I can't wait for Jude to be closer. We've been doing a lot of hide and seek lately. And with Otumba's approval, we'll have a much smooth and closer sale of events. <laughs> I just can't wait. Story, 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 story. Oh, this is my room. <laughs> this is crazy. You know, when you first talked about it, I thought you were kidding. Of course I wasn't kidding. I need you here with me. There's no kidding in that, baby. <laughs> oh, good. I hope you know that now I'm here. I expect to spend every single waking second with you. <laughs> Stop fretting, my love. We will be fine. Good. 
Mm. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so what did he tell you? He hardly said anything. He was just looking at me. That old man is so creepy. I don't know how you put up with him. I wanted to squeeze him. <laughs> he didn't say anything. Nothing. Well, he asked me my name. Then he told the butler to show me to these quarters. I'm such a weirdo. That's weird, all right. You know, the way he asked me to first make sure you see him. I thought you were in for a good drilling. <laughs> the man is really weird, though. And yet, you sleep with him. Jude, stop it, please. Stop it this second. I'm sorry, but I hate him for loving you. And I love you for hating that he loves me. <laughs> I love you too, baby. I love you. Mm. <laughs> Sorry to have kept you waiting. Ah. Sorry, ma. I'm sorry. Yeah, my wife will soon be here. Mm. Yeah, she just stepped down for the morning exercise. Mm? Mm. Welcome, you're welcome. <laughs> How's Mr. David? He's very well. Thank, Thank, God. You. Thank you. Please feel free to wait for her. Thank you, Otumba. You're welcome. I will wait. Yes, ma. Okay. <laughs> Once again, thank you for sending that uh, help for uh, The boy has been of great help. Yeah. Most of these are period of pregnancy. I never knew that pregnancy was such a very fragile process. <laughs> Don't worry, Otumba. Yes. She will be well. Yes. All will be well. I pray I'm so. I'm sure. I pray. She's carrying my first child ever. <laughs> And I'm not taking any chances. Hey, our pregnancies, first pregnancies are usually very tricky. Oh. But she will be well. Amen, amen. Uh, please ask the attendants what, whatsoever you want. You will be attended to. Okay. Uh, please feel free, wait, feel at home. No problems. Uh, I have to run uh, for my normal money. Uh, uh, yeah. Thank you. Mbwano. Yes, ma. Bye bye. Oh. Yes, ma. Thank you. The morning exercise ever. Eh? You know, I was very confused. When Otumba mentioned the help we sent to you, I knew something was wrong. But I wasn't sure. I had to come see for myself. M Mama, you didn't say you were coming. Now I see the reason. And I see why you stopped coming to see us. I've been busy, Ma. Too busy to come share the good news with your family? 11 weeks pregnant you are? What? And you don't say what to your parents? Are you pregnant? Not now, Jude. Cleo! Not are you pregnant? Not Jude. now. One more word from you, and I'll get the guts to throw you out! You imposter! What in the world are you still hanging around my daughter for? Eh? Is your head screwed in the right place? Or oh, are you a spirit husband? Cleo! Have you gone mad? Mom, please, don't make a scene. Jude means no harm. I asked him here to help me sort out issues with my master's degree program. Otumba doesn't want me to further my education, and I need Jude to be my eyes and ears in school. You think I'm a baby Ewa? Your father must hear this. And you, Judas or whatever they call you, before I close my eyes and open it again, I want you to go in there, pick those rags of yours to call clothes, and get out of this house. Mom, he is going nowhere. Cleo! Uh, Mom, you and Dad got what you wanted. Are you not happy? What more do you want from me? Eh? I can never in a million years be happy with Otumba. Eh, what? So, I suggest you take what you can and go back to your husband. You know what? And mom, if I as much as hear this from dad or Tumba, this marriage is over and you can kiss your sudden wealth goodbye. Yeah. Plus, I will tell him it was your idea. Cleo! Tell me well to dad, I have to go and take my rest now. Hey, <laughs> Hey! Story, story. What are you doing?
Okay, baby, I'm ready. Let's go. Join me. Jude? I am freaking out here! You know, maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. God! Uh, Jude, you need to stop this right now. I am sick of your pessimism. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Otsuma. Forgive me for having feelings and actually reacting to your mom's craziness earlier on. You've complained about it all day. Give it a rest, will you? Gosh, Jude. You're turning into a nag. And you are turning into a monster without feelings. Look at you. You don't feel a thing again, do you? I can't believe you just said that. I'm sorry. I'm upset. You should understand my position. I expect you to. Fine. You can leave if you want to. Is that what you want? Never mind what I want. You mean you don't want me here anymore? Do you want to be here? Huh? I don't want to feel like I'm forcing you. I thought we wanted the same things. I want you, but... But what? Huh? You've changed. You're 11 weeks pregnant. You didn't tell me. It's, it's unbelievable. I... I was going to tell you. <laughs> you were? When? I wanted to make certain the pregnancy is yours. I had to be sure. And the doctor confirmed it today. So? Are you certain? Sure. It's yours. <laughs> it is. Listen, Jude. You need to work with me here. I know my mom. She'd rather die than tell anyone. So... Our secret is safe. <laughs> no wonder you've been so randy. Come here. Uh, My dear, when did you start locking this door? Uh, sorry, Otsumba. I'm coming. Let me quickly dress up. I just had a shower. Open the bloody door, my friend. Just a second. What's the matter? <clears throat> when did you start locking the door? Only when I'm in the bathroom. You don't want any of the servants coming in when I'm in the bathroom. Besides, it's just a habit. You know, just like you never leave your room open, even to me, your wife. A well. bad habit, I know. Mm. Yes, a bad habit, that. Uh, so, Otumba, yeah. anything? What's the urgency? No, nothing. Uh, just means you and I think I should come around. You know, since I came, I have no other time with you. And I'm sure you must have been missing me too. Or are you not? Well, I... I am. Good! You see, and that's why I've called them my like busy day to spend a good quality time. I know, Otsun, but I think it's easy with me. Remember I know. my condition. Don't worry, uh, I will treat you with utmost care. Ah, Otsun, but... servant is here now. What would you have me do for you? This is a public place, shoot. Please, don't make a scene. Does it matter? Anyway, I'm here now. Say your bidding. Let me jump right to it. That's all I'm good for. I was hoping for a more civil talk, Jude. <laughs> yeah. I can see how overly civilized you are. So much so that you live and sleep with two men. Even while pregnant for one. Lower your voice. Otumba's guards are watching. What is it with you, Jude? Huh? So you think I enjoy sleeping with my husband? Huh? 
Do you think I enjoy it? I heard you, Cleo. I heard you loud and clear. It was next door, remember? You heard him, Jude. You heard him, not me. I heard you. It was you. I know what you sound like. Jude, I was only pretending. Can we please not talk about this? I can't, I can't take this crap anymore. I can't even look at you right now. God, you're disgusting. Jude, 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 wait. Wait a second, Jude. Jude. Story, 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 story. This must be tough on him. And I get it. But what was I supposed to do? Say no to Otumba? Ha! Surely he would have suspected. Oh boy, I have to do something. And fast. Jude can be irrational. And I don't want him doing something we both will regret. So good to see you, my dear. You look so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, what would you like to drink? Um, I love what you're having. Yeah. That's okay. Good. Um, Aminu! Sir? Uh, get me a glass cup. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Here you are. Thank you. To us? To us. Are we good for today? <laughs> sure. Then let's get on with it. <laughs> cheap, cheap. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just give me a few minutes. Mm. Don't look at me. Mm. No, cheap, don't look at me. Mm. <laughs> Beautiful. It wasn't so bad after all. A little uncomfortable, yes. A little bloody, yes. But let's face it. Three million Naira worthy. Yes. Hell yes. And then of course, three million Naira is enough to wipe away any lingering debt. Come on now. I might be so far away, like the ground to the sun, but I promise to be back like the prodigal son. But this time I ain't coming empty handed, I'm coming so heavy like the plane that just landed. So never worry, I'm home coming, I'm coming home like PD. So play the solo so loud and let the posters realize that I'm coming home to take care of my pain. Thank you so much for everything. I don't know what I would have done without you. Please, Mrs. Solomon, do not default on this deal again. My boss almost got me fired because of this one default. I had to come up with my own money to pay up. You know, this is a service that is not commonly practiced, especially due to a high rate of defaulters recorded when this service was first introduced. Fredo, I don't hear now. Should we have apologized for it? You just have to promise not to fail again. You know what? Here's a check for last week's payment and three more weeks on top of that. I bet your boss can now be a happy man again. <laughs> of course you should. <laughs> and at least I'll have my rest. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Solomon. You're welcome. Anytime. <laughs> well, and don't forget to continue to carry on with the daily stops. Mm, no problem. I have to run now. But before I go, please, I beg my plate numbers, I beg. See all these things on the car, I beg, come out and All right. I can't arrange, wait to rock my I'll new I'll arrange right. all that Olga for Fredo. you. Olga Fredo. Thank Mrs. you. Mrs. Solomon. Yes, so one and only. <laughs> no. <laughs> Freddy, Freddy, thank you. Uh-huh. Okay, now, so you all know where I got my ride. Rental. I didn't steal it. I didn't borrow it. I didn't buy it. <laughs> Seriously, where did you think I got the ride from? My husband drives a big down 2003 brand a car. You don't expect that he would buy me that killer ride? <laughs> now you know. <laughs> story, 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 story. Ah, would you, baby? Oh no. Hey, please give me this to one more ears. 
You did it. Ujungwa. <laughs> so he gave you a 3M. Ha ha. That old fire from school has come back. Oh. You are really burning up. Very soon, your whole lecky will be on fire. <laughs> No, ah, babe, as of now, I've cooled off, I beg. This new smallie said he wants to settle, so I'm considering now. <laughs> that you do it. Ah, no. Not my sly. I can bet you this is true, love, oh, my dear. Have you seen his feet all right? He changes them anyhow. Don't I know where these rights come from? Or is it because I've decided to maintain one? This woman should better wake up from her slumber. Fleet core. Would you? Sly is very comfortable, so I don't have anything to be wary of. The other day I went to his house. If you see this massive mansion that he built, <laughs> that my ex-husband must have been very lazy. Or maybe he wasn't smart enough. Because here is a fellow banker with such luxury at his disposal. Loveto, check this boy out. People rent fully furnished home for weeks and months. Others even rent from people who have gone on vacation for a long time. Who knows, he may even have taken her to his friend's house that he's had an understanding with. I feel like slapping this girl. How dense can a woman be? Even I, Uju, know that all that glitters is not good. Huh? <laughs> Way to go. Miranda said what? Are you serious? Did she also tell you that she's a lesbian? Eh, you know? Now, what? I beg, would you don't mind that stupid girl? I'll talk to you later, yeah? Welcome, madam. Very good of you for finding your way back home. Hello, sweetie. Are you planning on going out again? No. Why? So why is the visitor still waiting for you outside? Which visitor? Stop asking stupid questions. Who is that person parked outside waiting for you? No one. I drove myself. You drove that? Yes, Solomon. I drove that. Okay, so I've had this ride ever since we came to the Lekki area. Problem is, I've always packed it in my neighbor's house because there was space and I didn't want Solomon to know. Now my neighbor has bought a brand new car and can no longer accommodate my ride. So I have to drive it home. I didn't want to drive it home because I don't want problems with Solomon. I know how Solomon can be. But whatever he has to offer, he should bring it on. I'm ever ready. I saw you when you came in. Now, where in God's name did you get that chip from? Lovett lent it to me. Why are you so shocked? Oh, your friend lent it to you. And how many cars does she have that she can part with that? She didn't have to part with anything. She just lent it to me. Besides, I'm tired of always coming back every evening eh, to all these your naggings and questionnaire sessions. I just don't get this man. He's just so difficult in the most bizarre way. I've come to meet and know guys who would do anything and appreciate little gestures when the wives bring goodies from outside. They even encourage the wives to get more of these goodies. But no, not my own. Solomon is always acting macho, even when he's nowhere near that. Where's he now? Money you no get for pocket. Now, so so young guy you do. I bet come out for road, Joe. Please, I'm exhausted. And what have you been doing that's always making you tired? Would you? Who are you sleeping with? Must I be sleeping with somebody to be exhausted? Besides, I'm on my period. Please. Maybe I should order takeout for dinner, a pizza or something. I'm exhausted and from job hunting. Good night. Story, 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 story. Hi. 
I can see you've become a master of the game. What is the problem now? Is your husband asleep? Did he come before he could satisfy your hunger? Have you come so I can fix your lingering hunger? <laughs> well, I'm sorry, ma'am. I can't. Go to him. I have no hunger for you. Is, is that what you think of me? An unsatisfied bed hopper? Are you any less? Jude, you're hurting me. Are you any better, Cleo? Well, I guess I'm not, and I deserve that. Good. Now go. I can't leave you like this. I, 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 I can't sleep knowing that you're not happy. What were you even thinking when you came up with, with this ridiculous idea? What was I even thinking when I accepted God? I expected a mature mind, an understanding and compliance with the situation. I expected so much from you, Jude. But I guess I judged you wrong. You're still a boy at heart, a child, not ready to fight for what is yours. And you know what? I, I can't do this fight alone. So I give up. Tomorrow, I will tell Otumba that you had to urgently go back to the village so that you can be free from this mess. So, you do know that this is all a mess? Indeed it is. And you're free to go. I said the words not believing it myself. He can't leave me now. He knows if he does, I'll be distraught. And I know he does not have a hard heart. Our love is definitely stronger than this huddle. I hope. So, Jude, what's it going to be? Are you trying to get rid of me? No. Do you love him? No. Do you love me? Of course. I do very much. It's late. You should go to him. I'll see you in the morning. Told ya. <laughs> We're too much in love for this issue to tear us apart. Our love will definitely see us through this. Good night. Jesus! Oh, oh, blood of Jesus. The precious blood of Jesus. I reject this nightmare in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, thank you for this revelation. Father, Lord, I commit your daughter into your hands. That darkness that surrounds her is lifted in the name of Jesus. That, that, that bondage that is tying her down, I lose her in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, whatever the, ev the evil one is planning against her, I render it null and void in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, the enemy will not thwart this one. The enemy will not get this one in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for this revelation. I commit her into your hands in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank Peace. you, Jesus. You are disturbing me now. Take, take it outside. Victor, I just had a horrible nightmare. I see danger in the life and marriage of my friend. That doesn't mean that you should disturb me now, eh? Please, see whatever you want to see. But please, give me peace. Let me sleep, I beg you. Victor, don't you have sympathy? You know, you keep at this. And soon, they'll be sympathizing with you. Don't you know that dreams are a vague representation of our subconscious? Maybe it's your situation, you see. Maybe it is your marriage that is about to crash and not your friends. Victor!
Yes, what do you want with my wife? Greetings, Mr. Kolaoji. Hmm? I prefer you address me as Otumba. I earned that title and you must respect it. Otumba. Thank you. Can I see your wife, please? What is your mission? Just visiting, sir. What do you do? I'm largely a housewife and, uh, and a church worker. I see. I see. For how long have you known her? I've known her long enough to be friends with her. So, can I see her? What does your husband do? My husband is an investment banker. Investment banker. Okay. She'll be with you shortly. Hmm? I cover myself in the blood of Jesus. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. What a surprise. Peace. I'm only just getting your text. Really? Mm-hmm. I, I said I that last night. Well, actually. Um, early this morning, really. How are you, my sister? I'm fine, though, as you can see. That's good. Mm. Meanwhile, your husband gave me the lie detector test. <laughs> I didn't know that you're such hot commodity to visit. <laughs> Don't mind him, Ojari. He's upset that you didn't prostrate to greet him and you didn't address him as Otumba. <laughs> Very funny. Mm. My dear, the reason why I came. We have to pray. I don't like what I saw in the dream last night. What did you see? Demons, spirits, evil hovering around you and your unborn child. Mm -hmm. You were right in their midst as they danced and sang around you. And then they urged you to join them in the dancing. You were about to start dancing when I called out to you and then I woke up. I don't know if you danced or not, but we need to pray. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Shouldn't that be your new name now? <laughs> I can't believe you would leave your house this early to come and tell me this. <laughs> you should have been warming your hot husband's bed by now. You left the poor man alone to come and tell me this. Do you take every dream you see so seriously? Honey, please don't so, or you will get high blood pressure. Life is too short to leave it in caution. And life is too short not to live in caution. Mm -hmm. Cleo, we do not know the hour nor the second that Christ will return, so we have to live in caution. Peace. Otuma needs me now. Hmm? He gave me five minutes. Well, really? Okay, let's just pray then, quickly. Sweetie, thanks. But some other time, put me in your prayers. Okay? Take care. And say me well to your husband. Cleo, this is serious. Babe, I have to go. Honestly, I didn't mean to be rude. But some ladies don't just get it. I mean, she left her house, which, by the way, is on fire, to come here and quench mine. <laughs> How does that work? What does she want me to do? Become afraid of everyone in my household? Come on. These guys cook for me, for goodness sake. They give me my medication, clean my room. <laughs> if they wanted to harm me, honey, they would have done so long ago. So please, babe, get over your righteous self already. You're taking this born again thing too far. <laughs> Evil around me, indeed. Mm. Hello, sweetheart. Yeah. See, I have missed you so much, okay? I want you to come back home. Would you see you have starved me for too long? I don't want you to do that again, okay? Yes, of course, I'm missing you. I want you to come back home. See, it's almost 11 p.m., okay? Okay, please. And by the way, 
When I came back, um, I met a certain Silas in the compound. Okay. Here we go. You hired someone without informing me? A guard? Okay, let's get something straight. Is he renting the services for free? 10,000? Jesus, what does he do anyway? Did I expect anything less? I beg you. Sorry, hold on. He's supposed to do what? Put on... Wait, wait, wait. Now you're talking about the generator set. I thought there was a regulation in the estate against noisy generators. Has that changed? Oh. You mean the regulation is on? So what generator are you talking about now? A new generator? Would you? You bought a new gen set and I'm not aware? A soundless 12.5 kVA generator? Would you, are you out of your mind? Do you know how much that costs? Oh wait, you want to tell me you got the money from your friend again, right? You bought what yourself? Would you? You bought a soundless 12.5 kVA gen set? Where did you get the money from? No, would you? This is not a matter of calm down, calm down. Where did you? What did you do to make? Where did you get that kind of money from? Wh where did? Oh. Would you? What did you do to get that money to buy the gen set? That's what I'm asking you. Would you see? This is not about calm down, calm down, calm down. What did you do to raise that kind of money to buy a gen set? It's okay, but you just just know that you have a lot of explanations to do when you get here. Jesus. First she hires somebody, I'm not aware, and then she, but I don't even know what to think anymore. Oh, Jesus. of testosterone. Sly couldn't handle another man in the house, so he made sure I fired him and got a lady cook. Please come and sit down. Hey, it seems this Sly guy is making a lot of bold changes around here. You know how it is now. Jealousy and stuff now. Is it the same jealousy that prevented him allowing me to come up to your room? Sweetheart, I have a man in the house. He's domineering and I like it. There are definitely going to be changes around here. I see. Who am I to counter his bidding? You seem to be enjoying it. <laughs> yes, I like having a man around. I wish I can see the scene. Trouble around? Hmm? Serious trouble, sis. Would you believe for the first time Solomon raised his hand and hit me last night? And it doesn't seem as if he's about to stop, eh? <laughs> ego issues. More than ego issues. This is serious. So what are you going to do? I think I'm just going to... Lovette? You said one minute. One minute? What's that? See, I will... Lovette. I'm coming. We were in the middle of some bank dealings when you came. He's going to be handling my bank accounts and transactions. <gasps> Lovette! Mm. Why? Mm. Lovette, be careful. Don't worry. Don't worry about all that. I feel sorry for Lovetto. How do you let a man move into your home after two to three weeks of meeting him? Now he's going about making changes and money adjustments in her life and she's too blinded to see it. 
if he's so rich and so comfortable and he lives in this big huge house why is it so easy for him to come and sit down in a woman's house think love it think see what about the case with your husband make sure you shine your eye well well men with ego issues are a no no for me oh. just handle him well i remember she saraki is on the side now trust me i'll see you later and don't forget our deal with Miranda. I know you owe me that. I'm much. going there from here. I'll see you later. Love it. Be careful. Story, story. Hey. Story, story. Story. Come on. Hi. Is your madam in? No. But I can wait for her, can I? Yes, miss. Come in. Well, I chose to come to Miranda's house so I can get to the bottom of the story between Lovett and PC's husband, Victor. Plus, also to check out Miranda's marital situation. Okay, that's a lie. I came to Miranda's house to get debt for Lovett on Miranda. Because apparently, it pays to have debt on your friends. That way you can check them and also control them. Hello, ma'am. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Hi. You are... I'm Uju, a friend of Miranda. Oh, good. She isn't back yet. Um, I suppose you're waiting for her? Yes, I am. Mm, good. Is she aware that you're coming? Because it might take some time before she gets back. Well, not really. I tried her phones, they're off, so I decided to come straight to the house to see if I could see her at home. But I'll wait a while. If she doesn't come home early enough, I'll just drop off the invite. Okay, good. Um, something to drink? No, thanks, I'm fine. All right. Nice meeting you there. Nice to meet you too. Beatrice! I'm coming! Mm. I'm starving. Isn't the chef ready with my food yet? He's serving it up, sir. Um, where would you want me to serve it? You want me to serve it here, on the dining, or up in your room? Mm. I'll like it in my room. Okay. Just give me one minute and I'll make sure the food is served. Thanks, darling. She's a darling, that one. I don't know what I'll do without her. Ah. She seems nice and well-groomed. Mm, yeah. She's come a long way and learning fast. Let me ask you a question. Are you related to Miranda? I haven't met you before. <laughs> I am Miranda's husband. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't know that. It's nice to meet you, sir. Mm. Thanks. Nice meeting you, too. Your favorite is served. Mm. Let me take it to your room. Uh. I'll make sure I serve it perfect. Excuse me, missus. <laughs> My lunch is ready. Uh -huh. Enjoy. Wait, too. <laughs> Am I in Miranda's house or I'm watching a TV soap about a husband falling in love with his wife's maid? First of all, Miranda's husband is crippled. Who would have thought? No wonder she never talks about him. She never even mentions him at all. No wonder the bitchy attitude. The woman is angry. Hmm. Could Miranda know the show of affection that goes on between her maid and her husband. God, this is some deep shit. Please, please. Yeah, Madam, yeah. I have serious gist for you. Love it, gist. Mm. Better make it snap you. I have to attend prayer meeting. Kids. Yes, ma'am. Uh, go inside. I'll send for you later, eh? Okay. Have you ever met Miranda's husband? Yes, I have. Do you know he's crippled? What? 
No. I promise you, he is lame, useless, in a wheelchair. Wait, are you sure we're talking about Miranda's husband? Uju was there last night and she saw him. Is he no Frank? Frank is crippled. My dear, I couldn't believe it myself. I was in shock. This explains Miranda's sudden change of attitude. I mean, she used to be so nice and, you know, outgoing, but these days she's... A bitch. <laughs> well, not exactly the word I would have used. And she's taking out her anger on the wrong people. Apparently she's taking out her anger on everybody. I feel so sorry for that poor man. And I'm almost certain he's not getting any love from Miranda. Because he's definitely seeking some. You might be right, too, because... Lately, every time I've called Miranda, she's either in her office or out somewhere, some shop. She's hardly ever home. There's definitely more to this than we know. Definitely. Wow, this is crazy. I met this man three years ago and he was fine. And uh, if he's not getting any love from Miranda, he's definitely getting it from the maid. What? Uju was there yesterday and she said she saw through their acts. They were practically drooling over each other. Love that you are lying. <laughs> My dear. <laughs> For real. Jesus. We have to pray for her. Miranda needs prayers. I know some people will think I snitched on Miranda, but I pick Lovette out of all these butterflies because first, she's my friend, and then she's got my back. Twenty-two weeks. Oh my God. <laughs> so why leave us so soon? Uh, it's Otumba. He insists, and I guess I have to obey, right? You do. <laughs> but never mind. I'll keep in touch, and should any of you guys come by, make sure to check up on me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Just you know, I will keep a watchful eye on him here. Hmm. Exactly. Ring me if he becomes naughty. <laughs> Trust me, I will, because he will. No doubt about that. Miranda? Cleo, if you have to travel to get peace of mind, then you don't need anybody policing Otumba around trying to find out what he's up to. Remember, you're pregnant. <laughs> Stress is the last thing you need. I kind of agree with Lovett on this one. Well, yeah, Lovett has a point. I don't need any more added stress. So, Miranda... You are fired. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh all you want, but don't come crying to me later. Look, I know some evil women who wait for the slightest opportunity to come between a husband and wife. Yeah. I know of many instances. You know, the wife sleeps, they come in, the husband gets vulnerable, they come in. So trust me, my friend, you need a watchful eye here. Even more than a watchful eye is the need for true friends. Not friends who only give warning signals and bring out the negative sides in people. And you know, because... That is all you do. Cleo is pregnant for God's sake. Stop instilling harmful thoughts in her. I see. Love it. Can you please just stay out of my talk with Cleo? I don't care about your opinion. <laughs> oh, same here, darling. But I bet she does mine. Trust me, she doesn't. Because no one will want to hear anything you have to say. 
for whatever you say is for your benefit only. Carry on advising, Madam Advisor. I bet it's the bad advice you gave to Peace that has turned her into a worried version of her old self. And what the hell are you on about? How do you look your friend in the eye and tell her that her husband is cheating on her? Just how? And did I forget to mention names? Remind me to do that later. Miranda, mm -hmm. you carry on as if all is well with you. When you and I know the truth, you'd better stop with the antics. They will only pull you down. I promise you that. And excuse me, what is that supposed to- Calm down. Stop. Just stop this, okay? Mm -hmm. Please, stop this. What's going on between you two? This argument and quarreling has gone on for far too long between you. What's the deal? Cleo, my love, have a safe and peaceful trip. Concentrate on taking care of you and the baby. And don't worry about any negative energy thrown at you. It won't do you any good. I'll take my leave now. Uh, love it. Don't say goodbye like this I'm now. I'm good with you, Cleo. Bye, you Drew. Hmm. Good radiance to bad rubbish. Please, let's continue the meeting, Jerry. Drinks, please! Wait first. Is it true? What? Is Peace's husband cheating on her? Yes. And he is doing it with that slot called Lovett. Shut, Shut up! up! Lovett and Victor. Hmm. Why am I not really surprised? I mean, what do you expect from a woman who left her husband for their landlord? A woman who sleeps with her steward and other numerous men. She was bound to do the rounds now and her friend's husbands were seemingly good candidates. Mm -hmm. So it now means that I have to watch my own back in case she wants to also bring it round to my dear Solomon. I mean, if she can do it to peace, who am I? To Fiakwa, this is just too bad. Question is, who is going to tell Piso? Because she really needs to know. Oh boy, I am glad to be traveling at this point. I wouldn't want to see the middle or the end of this. <laughs> Things are going to get ugly from here on. <laughs> Lovett and Peace's husband. But why? She's heartless, that's why. Now she does not only sleep with her friend's husband, she also keeps an air about it. Now, let the worship promise to begin, because I am ready as I can be. Nonsense. Somebody should warn Miranda, though, that tomorrow, Lovett will be attending the meeting and it will be action-packed. Okay, so it's my turn to host the ladies. Hmm? And I have to make sure it's bang. Okay, you know, since I got introduced to these butterflies, I've been holding up pretty well and keeping up appearances. But I still sense some resentment and prying from Miranda and Lovett. So this is why I must not slip up. I must make sure I host it to the tea. Linda, come, 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 come. Okay. Now, make sure you pack up what's left of our nice. You don't have to waste food in this place. Okay? Alright. Okay, go. When I'm ready, go. Is the on to this house. Ah! <laughs> Yeah. And to you, peace. Welcome to my space. Mm. Mwah. Mwah. Ah, how are you? Fine, thank you. Lovely place to have here. Thank you so it's much. Cozy and nicely furnished. Oh, thanks, darling. Coming from you, you know I'm delighted because you have such great taste in deco. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Please make yourself comfortable. Table will soon be set. Thank you. Ah, ah, hey. Mom. I hope I'm in the right house. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, you are, Miranda. Mm. Welcome to my humble abode. Hmm, this is nice, um, but small. Do you live here with your family? How do you manage? I mean, the space is so small. Well, don't get me wrong. I know it must have cost you a fortune going by the location, but it's really tiny, even for two. How about Miranda? You haven't even sat down or even taken a good look at the house, and you're already going at it. Hmm. Hello, Pace. How now? <laughs> I see you. I see you too. And I hear you loud and clear. In fact, too loud for comfort. Hmm? Slow down. Haba, Pace. You're making me feel bad already. Ah -ah. Would you, darling, don't take me to heart, okay? This is just the good old me voicing out my loud opinion. Hmm? 
No offense meant. No offense taken, Miranda. If you must know, this is a hideout where my husband and I come to any time we're feeling bored about staying at home. Really? Mm -hmm. So, you don't live here? No, not really. So why have the meeting here? We do have this meeting in our houses. It has been a silent rule. I suppose you should know that. Well, Miranda, you said so yourself. The silent rule. Anyways, my house is undergoing some renovation. And since this is like a second home to me, I decided to do the hosting here. Really? So did you guys buy the property or is it one of those fully furnished apartments for rent? <laughs> Miranda, slow down already, okay? Just have something to drink. Peace. Give me a breather, will you? Ah! I am just asking Uju simple questions here, which doesn't seem to mind. So what's with you? Miranda, I don't have a problem with answering your questions because I have answers to them. My question is, is it really necessary? It isn't. It's not. Look, Miranda, can we just please enjoy this meeting time? Okay? Stop being a bully. You've ruined our, our previous meetings two or three times already with your rants. It's not cool, Miranda. It's not cool. Hey, lady. Hey. Hello. Welcome Hi. to my home. <laughs> 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 Please, I suggest you hear me out first before you proceed on him. Okay, it is really not necessary. Just leave it. It is. At least, I haven't gotten to meet um, Uju just like you guys have. So, asking her one or two questions will definitely take me there, don't you think? So, how's questions about buying property going to get you closer to her? All of that is vanity. You can know a person and not their material worth. Peace, allow me now. Ah. <laughs> it's okay, peace. Miranda, in answer to your questions, yes, we bought the property. Oh, just like you bought the flat you live in in the Ocean View estate, right? Excuse me? Yes, Uju. Are you shocked? I found you out. You have done nothing but to lie to us from the very first day we met you. Now, you did not even finish university because you were expelled from school in your final years because of exam malpractices. The flat you currently live in is rented for one year, not even two. The different cars you drive are also rented. God, what else is she renting? Your clothes, perhaps? Miranda, stop it. Stop it this minute. Would you? Why do you lie so much? I knew you were fake from the very first day I met you. I tell you what, as soon as I got an invite from you to meet here, I immediately checked you out. And guess what I found? Hmm. This property is owned by one chief, Kola Wale Oshuri. Or did you buy it of him this morning? Uju, what is it with you and lies? And what is it with you and spilling people's dirt out in the public as if you don't have any dirt in your cupboard? Miranda, are you seriously going to sit down there and look down on Uju, regardless of everything, when you yourself are an epitome of lies? Ladies, please. I don't think we need this, okay? Please, everybody just breathe. I don't see you, love it. I don't see you and I suggest you do same. Oh, I see you, sister. And I see you well. You called me out at the last meeting. And now here you are, calling Uju out in the open. Who do you think you are, Miranda? A perfect goddess? I am what I am, love it. So go jump in the lake. Oh, yes, you are what you are. A lesbian. Still in the cupboard. Married to a cripple. You are indeed what you are. An angry bitch. Love it. Judge not, so that you won't be judged. Please. Allow me. Miranda, could you be angry at something that we don't know? Are you experimenting with women because your husband did something terrible to you? Or are you angry that he got crippled? <laughs> Please tell us. After all, we are all your friends. Maybe then we'll understand better why you are so nasty to people. Sisters, I seriously recommend Jesus in your lives. His love is pure and you will experience joy and peace <laughs> nice hit love it nice hit i guess it's time we'll come out of the closet i guess it is come out with it
Mm -hmm. Peace, you should know this. Love it here has been sleeping with your husband. Story, 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 story. So, all is out in the open now, and I'm ready for the consequences. But I hope Miranda is ready for my next hit, because I will make sure that her husband knows of all her extramarital affairs. Wow! What a big, fierce, and huge punching blow. I don't know what will happen from here on, but I know it is nothing short of disaster. Miranda. Peace. Oh. Oh, peace. What, what are you doing here? Well, there was there's practically no one in your house. What's going on? Huh? Uh, uh, do you need something? No, I'm fine, thanks. So how are you? I'm fine. You've been unusually quiet. I'm fine. Peace. You did not return any of my calls. You didn't reply any of my messages. Are you upset with me? No. Do you hate me for telling? No, as a matter of fact, I'm glad you told me. I needed to know. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> that was what, just what I thought. So how have you been dealing with it? I've been, I've been coping with it just fine. I have got... He's on my side. Oh. And you have me too, dear. Do not forget that, okay? Thank you. So how is Victor? Does he know that you know? And how is your husband, Miranda? Does he know that you are now a lesbian? Okay, you know what? Um, I guess I better leave and come back when you are in a better mood to talk. Why? Because I asked a simple question. No, not that. Then what is it? Nothing. So don't worry about it. I won't, but you should. What do you mean, Piss? Look, Miranda, I don't presume to judge you or your sexuality. And your life is your life. But let me tell you this, okay? That whatever it is that we do on this earth, a time will come when we will face judgment. We cannot just live our lives carelessly, like, like we want. We kill, we steal, we, we worship idols, we, 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 we use our bodies in all kinds of sexual perversion. And we, we live as if nothing is going to happen. Oh, it's all good, it's all a bed of roses. But the truth is this, that there is a God and He is watching over us. And when the time comes, we will all face judgment. No one will escape it. My only prayer is that all of us can just receive Christ and redemption for our souls before it's too late. Because judgment will come. It will meet all of us. And nobody knows when death will come. It will call at us at any time. And what has that got to do with anything if you're not already judging me and my ways? Why are you saying all these things to me? Look, no one knows what I go through or why I choose to do what I do. You claim to have found happiness in Christ. And what has that brought you? So much unhappiness. You receive with one hand and then pay back with the other. So who are you deceiving? Peace? Who? Certainly not me. Miranda, if you honestly think that I am unhappy, then you are sadly mistaken. Because you see, I have infinite, innate peace and happiness that surpasses whatever unhappiness is showing on the outside. And that's a simple fact for me. Look. What you do with your life is none of my business. But the truth is the truth. Judgment will come. We will all face it. We can't escape it. In fact, I will not sit here and listen to this bull crap. Have a nice day. You too. It's either black or white. Yes or no. 
There is no sitting on the fence. You either choose God or you choose mammon. Now, I'm not saying all of this because I'm all too righteous or whatever, no. But it's because I have found the truth. Now, if you know the truth, you will be held accountable if you do not share it with the rest of the world. So that is what I'm doing. Sharing the truth with the rest of the world, starting with my friends. Now, I know it's a hard pill to swallow, but it leaves a definite lasting cure. Try it. All this talk piece is talking. It's not making sense. We are born into a tough world, whether we like it or not. And we must find our path. How can we just be sitting down and watching the world pass us by? It's not possible now. Ha! She should go and face her business. Oh. Peace. Peace. Here I am, staring at this creature called my friend, knowing that she has been sleeping with my husband. Just how do I handle this situation, Lord? I've not had rest since I heard the news. But today, I found the courage to come face to face with her. So help me God. Peace, I'm truly sorry. Don't say that. But I am. I'm really sorry. No, you're not. So stop saying it. Just tell me why you did it. Please, I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry. Wrong answer, Lovett. Try again. Why did you do it? I am trying to make peace here. That doesn't give you the right to come into my house and slap me. I will slap you again if you don't come out with it, you shameless thing. Thank you. Now please leave my house. How dare you? How dare you too? Leave! Oh, no, you don't. You sleep with my husband and you have the audacity to raise your hand against me. I will kill you today. I will kill you before you kill me. What about why I'm sorry, don't you understand? Eh? You think slapping me will change anything that has happened? And you think saying sorry is going to erase the hurt in my heart? How could you do this? You stabbed your husband of sex. Did you really think he was going to sit around while he paraded the obnoxious Christian ants around him? Eh? He needed to get laid and sooner or later he was going to... By you, Lovett! By you! How could you do this to me? You're supposed to be my friend! I know! I'm sorry! I slipped. I was wrong. I wasn't supposed to do it, but I did. I don't know what comes over me when I do these things. You want to know what comes over you? You're a demon. You're possessed, Lovett. And today I curse you. I curse you. I speak pain and tears of sorrow into your life. Everything that you made me go through, Lovett, you will go through it ten times over. I promise you. Stay the hell away from me. You're evil. Please. Please. A person I call my friend goes behind my back to sleep with my husband and then fights me back for it. <laughs> no, seriously, I don't want to have anything to do with Lovett ever again in my entire life. Well, she's angry, and understandably so. But to come to my house and slap me is beyond her limits. And then to pray all that negativity on me is definitely pushing it. And to that, I say, back to sender. Federal, if I shut on him, oh, no, 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 no,